This is the gymnasium at Atlanta High School where 160 lucky hunters gathered for a mandatory orientation session presented by the Michigan Department of Natural Resources the day before the state's December elk hunt. Hunters heard from DNR personnel about elk hunting procedures, law enforcement issues, the history of Michigan's elk herd, and how all those things would come together the next day. We've got about a thousand animals, we think, right now on the range before this December hunt. We expect we'll be down to 850 or so at the end of the hunt. And they've been in generally good health. It's, it was a tough winter last year, and so we had less um, calves probably born than the year before, but the animals that are around are still doing well. Okay. We do a survey every other year, so we get a good count of the animals, or an estimate, actually, of the animals. We have a range. And then we have a goal number of eight to 900. So we, we just set the number of permits we think we need. We factor in poaching, uh, accidents, vehicle accidents, other disease loss, and we see how many permits we need to use to get us down to that number of our goal. With the formalities out of the way, the next morning it was time to hunt. We would join veteran guide Vern Bishop and his horses in the woods of Area A, west of Atlanta. A grand total of 380 hunters received Michigan elk tags in 2009 out of more than 38,000 applicants. Just 41 hunters drew Area A for the December hunt, and I was one of them. Vern's strategy was to read the tracks, figure out where the elk were headed, and keep following them until the horses could get us past all the hunters on foot. The tracks led us over a lot of country. In the early morning, we encountered plenty of hunters, including a couple who had connected on cows. But it wasn't long before all the human tracks petered out and it was just us and the elk. After we came through a thick stand of snowy young pines and onto a two-track, we had caught up with them, and Vern took my reins to free me for a shot. The cows in the herd went left off the road and the bulls went right. As we proceeded up the two-track, three bulls came into view. A horseback shot at this bull missed, but we kept tracking them and a few minutes later Vern's horse Lucky found them. The bulls had joined a larger herd of cows and calves and we were back in business. I wanted to shoot from the ground this time, so Vern had me get off my horse and walk between the horses so the elk wouldn't spook. It worked. Vern pointed out a bull through the trees, and when I had a clear shot he pulled up the horses and I stepped out. A nervous cow began to move off and nearly took the bull with her, but the bull paused just long enough to give me a shot. Give him again. Yes! Yes! He's done. Get in there and pose with him, Dave. As we prepared to field dress the bull, the remainder of the herd milled around the woods before moving off. Then it was time to strike a pose before the real work began. <laughs> 